I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. Had another indication today about the early stage struggles for the cannabis industry when it comes to these companies that are the big players to actually make any money. It's been, for the most part, a money losing proposition to this point. As canopy growth of Smith Falls, Ontario today reported results for the quarter and lost $374 million on just $74 million in quarterly sales. Now, some of that had to do with restructuring charges. The sales comparably were four times above where they were a year ago, but still fell short of expectations. The company's interim CEO saying the overall marketplace right now is provincial in as much as each province has a different jurisdiction when it comes to retail operations for cannabis. That's been a bit of a struggle. Uh, cannabis 2.0 is not on the market yet. The next phase of legalized cannabis sales and they're looking at uh, slowing down their growth in the Canadian market. We saw canopy, canopy stock today drop by 17% to a two-year low, holding at around $21 a share. Meantime, the world's biggest retailer, Walmart, is making all sorts of money ahead of its very busy Christmas sales season. The uh, third quarter profit for Walmart, $3.2 billion on $128 billion in global sales. Fastest growing component for this company, e-commerce. It's been investing a lot to compete against Amazon and it's paying off. E-commerce sales for Walmart up 41% in the U.S. year over year. The stock today in Wall Street trading hit an all-time high. Well, Disney had 10 million subscribers to its new Disney Plus streaming service in its first day. Sent the stock to a record high on Wednesday, even though it's still a, a very small component or small uh, comparison to the market leader in streaming, that being Netflix. Still in all, Disney has a market value now that is double that of Netflix, as it figures that uh, Disney Plus will be a big time money maker eventually as it invests in that streaming service and sees big time uh, subscriptions. Disney shares in US trading today hit a record for a second day in a row. Price for oil today at a two-month high. It's been steadily climbing here, and the International Energy Agency put out some statistics today to point to perhaps why. With the forecast that global oil demand is expected to grow to, uh, to the year 2030, and emissions globally expected to rise until 2040. Also saw some interesting statistics about uh, carbon emissions and power generation globally, whereas coal, where a lot of countries are cutting back on coal uh, for generating purposes for energy, well, India and China are not. An overall percentage of uh, global power generation still coming from coal at 38%. Natural gas in the low 20% territory. We're also looking at another company entering the foldable phone space, that being Motorola, showing off its latest Razer device. Purchase price around $1,500. It'll go on sale in the U.S. in early January to compete against the first in the market there, that Samsung Galaxy Fold. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.